Welcome back to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke and today we will be talking about an index match match, which is very similar to the previous formula we've used, but is utilizing a two dimensional array instead of a single column. What this forces us to do is specify a column number in addition to our row number. If you have been following along in this series, we're going to be utilizing our same data set. And if not, please check out the other videos in this playlist for similar content. Let's jump in. So let's do a quick refresher on the index formula to make sure we understand the syntax before diving into the index match match. So we have our three components, the array, the row number, column number, array is what we want, row number is the row number, column number is the column number. So we went through this, let's do another quick example. We had our apples category, our row, and so if you remember, we selected what we wanted, we selected the row number, and then it returned bananas. So if we need to use the index formula in a horizontal plane, we can use it the same way. So we select a reference range of what we want, C3 through I3. We select our row number, which in this instance is one, and we select our column number, which in this instance is three, returning the output of cherries. Great, so now we have a quick refresher on the index. Let's do a quick chat on our match to make sure we remember exactly how this formula works and has three arguments, lookup value, lookup array, match type. Our lookup value is what we're looking for, array of cells to check, and we always want to use a exact match. Here's a quick example. Our reference cell is going to be cherries, which is we're checking in C3 through C9, and then our type of match is zero, which returns us three, as that is the third row in the array. Let's talk about how this could be used horizontally, same way as the index. The reference cell of what you're looking for, which in this instance is dates, the array of cells to check, C3 through I3, the type of match, which is zero, and then the output will be four, as dates are in the fourth column of the array. So index match, let's use this in a horizontal plane and let's see how it works. Our array is going to be a reference range of what we want, C4 through I4. Our row number will be one, as it's a one-dimensional array, and we'll use our match to identify our column number. The first argument is our lookup value, and that's going to be bananas. Our second argument is the array of cells to check, and that's C3 through I3, that is the fruit category. And then we'll use an exact match, which gives us Danielle, as Danielle is the manager of bananas. Pretty similar to our standard index match in a vertical table. So let's put it all together with an index match match. And so we're going to look at a similar situation. Managers of different fruit categories, this time with different states. Steve is the manager of apples in California. Daniel is the manager of apples in Oregon. Let's walk through our formula piece by piece, and then we'll put it all together. So our index of our array, this is what we want. So this is our manager in our lookup table. This is what we want to return, either Steve or we want to return Danielle. We're going to use our match to find our row number, and that is going to be what is the fruit category. So reference of what we're looking for is apples. I just referred to cell C3. Our lookup array will be the fruit categories in our lookup table, B23, B26. I use an exact match, and then let's find our column number. We will use another match to find our column number and look up what state this row is referring to. The first row is D3, it is California. I'm going to look that up on the criteria range, which is C19 through D19, the column headers of my lookup table, which will return Steve, who is the manager of apples in California. If you'd like to see a live walkthrough of how an index match match is used within our data set, please check out the next video in the series linked here. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and leave any feedback below. Thank you for watching.